Greetings, dear viewers. I'm Quill Quickcard, and welcome back to Wild Arms. I... Ooh, I see a ship in a bottle. I have a lot of places I need to go. A lot of things I need to do. I assume. But, frankly, I don't really know what to specifically do, nor do I have a good sense of the order in which I need to do them. I'll be honest, I'm kind of lost at this point, and that is one of the uh, big factors. Alright, that's Saint Centaur. That is one of the factors in why I haven't uh, played in a while. Um, there is a pyramid near Saint Centaur, isn't there? Yeah, here it is. Here's the El Bleh Pyramid. The pyramids had treasures that could only be reached through the use of the grapple hook. And now I have the grapple hook. Except now I'm not in Saint Centaur anymore, am I? Well, I thought the pyramid near Saint Centaur had, uh, had somewhere to go. Maybe this other El Bleh pyramid I'm going to will have some, uh, some treasury bits. Hello? Hello, treasury bits? Uh, anything that I need my, uh, trusty things to get? Hello? I'm looking for anywhere... Nope. Alright. Well, I have just wasted your time. My apologies. I was quite confident that uh, there were still some treasures that I needed to use my new grappling hook in order to reach, and I'm a hundred percent certain that there are, but apparently nine of them are in these two pyramids. Which, uh, is unfortunate. Yeah, there's nothing here at all. Well, okay then. I guess it's back onto the ship we go. Uh, I did sail around the west coast a bit, so this time I'm going to sail around the east. Ooh. Okay, this is new. Giant's Cradle. Hello. A large stone door with a weathered piece of paper next to the small hole. Sacrifice the innocent heart to the sleeping giant. Okay. Well, I can't access that yet, apparently. Oh, right, I can't go across the, the deeper water yet. Or, I guess that's supposed to be the shallower water? I think. Ugh. Can we please just run away? I don't. I, I'm. I'm not in the mood to fight them right now. So, at some point, I'm going to find a way 
to cross those sections of the water. Whoa! Manglers and ballot fish. Uh, that's new? Those look a bit strong. Okay, thank god. They're still within kill range of a single meteor dive, so at least I know they're not crazy. Let's go, Holy Poke! Go for it, Rudy! Use your lasers! Target defeated. Not bad. Uh... Hello, caravan. Change your name for a thousand. Uh, no thanks. I'm fine using default names if I'm gonna be recording. Oh! The Trip Pillar! That's new! Crest Graph, so another new spell to add to my increasing repertoire of spells I'll never use. No complaints from me! Bust out some Sonic, uh, maybe use a nice boomble. Oh, don't you steal money. Oh, you jerk. They are after my jello. I worked hard for that jello. I murdered a lot of people for that jello. And I will thank you to stop stealing my jello. Thank you, Cecilia. Your efforts are highly appreciated. Whew. So, anything of note down here? Adventurous captain of trade ship cheeks, open minded ladies, 18 years plus for. The rest of the later is too faded to read. Are you freaking kidding me? Someone was trying to try a booty call by just tossing letters into the ocean? What the hell's wrong with you? It was probably that one guy. Well, let's see if we can actually access this trip pillar. There are three roads. Cooperation and trust will bind them into one. Okay, so we go our separate ways. I think this is showing us how to climb the tower. This must mean each of us has to go up separately in order to reach the top. I know it sounds dangerous, but we must separate from here on. Alright, fair enough. You are already standing on this side, so I'll assume that this is going to be your round. Come on, Jack. So we're going to have random solo encounters too, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Luckily, everybody has ways to handle groups now. It'll probably chew through my resources pretty quickly, but... Honestly, I'm really not all that worried about running out of resources. God, that hurt. Oh, that hurt bad. Please tell me you can kill it with this attack. Okay, good. So, I think it's going to be worth... Uh, worth using my Psycho Cracks instead of my Sonic Busters, then. I need my damage. And that should be enough to kill just about any regular monster in a single hit. Holy crap. I am very low on health right now. I can't go through here, can I? No, okay. Okay. 
All right, what do we got? More of these, huh? Not to worry, I have figured out how to fight you. Namely, by beating you with a sword while light effects play. Oh god, that doesn't kill you. I have significantly miscalculated. Jack's gonna be relying a lot on your, uh, on your special skills here, aren't you? Is one meteor drive enough to kill you? Okay. Having to escalate my damage output just a bit. You're gonna need that magic carrot. Okay. Oh god, more. Oh, cut it out, you jerk. Can't you see you're no match for my attacks? Thank God. Alright, do it again. Not bad. Can I just run away? No, I can't. Well, it was worth a shot. Is a psycho crack enough to kill you, Mr. Hardhat? Looks like it. Oh boy. Jack is really hurt right now. Really wishing I had stocked up on more healing items before I came here. At least the ones that I have are extremely effective. Okay, still... No sign of anything here. And at least Jack did level up. So, you know, it's not, it's not quite as hopeless as it seems. Uh, I, I am making progress. Rudy's gonna have a tough time here, though, I can already tell. How many floors of this? Oh boy. Now, well, last time I tried to run from this fight, it wouldn't let me, so... I'm just gonna assume that it won't let me. And... Ugh! Get through this with my Psycho Cracks. We got a counterattack, so one regular should kill. Alright, my instinct says the route that's farther away will lead to the exit. Okay.
That's one path down. So presumptively, she's going to take the left. I didn't actually encounter any obstacles. Uh, is this just going to be a case where all of the routes, or at least the two on the side, are simply symmetrical? Okay, um, how much can I hit you for with a boom ball? That is not a lot. Oh boy, she's taking a lot of damage. Uh, can I kill you with the holy poke? Yes, okay. So, a Boomble and Holy Poke is sufficient for Cecilia to survive a fight. <sighs> Unfortunately, the damage that she takes is significant, but at least she has a self-healing ability. Come on, Cecilia. Okay. Let's start with a boo-boo. Or let's start with a holy poke this time. Okay. So, holy poke is good to open with because it actually has a, uh, a decent chance of being able to just kill immediately. There you go, I'm gonna spit on you. Okay. Water heals them. Good to know. I thought maybe water would dissolve the slime, but, uh, that was not the case. I believe in you, Cecilia. I believe in your power to get through this tower. I think you have tower power. Okay, not enough to kill him. Gonna be pretty weak by the time this battle's over. Ow. Well, at least the counterattacks work. Good job, Cecilia. Let's heal up. This design is just trying me to waste unnecessary steps so I increase my chances of running into enemies. I can already see how it's built. I'm not necessarily a fan. Oh, crap! The hard hat boy is immune and I just lost half my defense. That's not good. Well, you look like someone who might be hurt by... My EXPLOSION! Please stop hitting me with your wrench. <sighs> Alright, well how do you like being spat on? Ow! You jerk! Make your cat sound and then die. Still, it's good for a level up.
How much are these? These are good for 50. The boss in this place is gonna be a complete pain. I'm gonna be so depleted by the time I reach it. Okay. So... Can I... I meant to hit run, but that was one menu back. Oh no, he stole my Doritos! That jerk! Did you see that? I can't believe he stole my Doritos! God, you can't just steal a man's Doritos like that! Or a psychopathic woman's. It's so rude! It's not cool! Okay, so that's a jack area. Come to think of it, with Jack, we never actually went into this uh, first side room. Oh my god, there was nothing in it. Come on, Jack, I still believe in you. You're fast and I believe you can get away. Thank you, Jack. No, screw that. If I'm going to explore this crap, then I'm going to do it when I actually have... Uh, have a full party available. A preemptive strike, eh? Ah, yeah, I'll just... I'll just run. It's best not to waste any more resources than I have to. And poor Rudy's gonna be depleting a good portion of his ammo while he goes through here anyway. Oh. No. Let me escape. Thank you. I appreciate your, your, uh, your cooperation. Last up, Rudy. Can you go through the middle? Okay. Be on the lookout for enemies. Potion Berry. Good. That's good. Good job, Rudy. I'm very proud of you for finding that. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Jello. And only one of them, huh? Hey, how do you like GUN? One gun wasn't enough to kill. A gun and a poke was okay, though. And unfortunately, my prism ray is even weaker than my hand cannon. So I probably am looking at two hand cannon, or two prism rays just to kill uh, any given group of two jello slots. Interesting. It is specifically throwing smaller groups at Rudy. Is that because the Prism Ray was optional and there's a very real probability that players would have reached this point without unlocking it? Therefore meaning that Rudy had no option in order to hit entire groups? Or is it just this part of the tower and I got lucky? Or is it just lucky and I'm getting solo encounters when no one else did? One or more of those things must be true. They don't necessarily contradict each other completely in all cases, so there is the possibility that more than one of those statements is true. I'm actually pretty excited today. Um, 
I've got some magic cards that I ordered coming in today. Uh, supposedly. They are emotional support magic cards. The first magic cards I've actually purchased in over two years. And I'm just getting them so I have something that I can fiddle with using my hands that's gonna keep my mind and body occupied. Long story. Actually, not that long a story, it's just, if I give any details on it, it's sort of going to necessitate sharing a bunch more so that you're not just left worried and wondering. Oh well. The important thing is, I'm going to be getting my magic cards. I just ordered the, uh, the Dungeons and Dragons, uh, pre-cons. Okay, do we have to be standing on the big thing? Is that the secret? Oh. No, those are swappy things. Okay. Uh... Then, Jack, why don't we swap? Okay, Ruby, if you step on this switch, will it swap the other two? Yes, it will. Okay. So, I had hoped that we would be near the top. We are not. Uh, but at least... I now know for sure that this was intended to be a barrier specifically for Jack. And I also now have a secret sign, which I believe means I can get a new uh, sword skill back in uh, Edelheid, I think it is. Oh! Okay, those are new! Hello, Raid Busters! That did not do much to you. I... I very possibly may need to back off from this place, stock up on more items, and then come back. Because this is... This is absolutely chewing through my resources at a rate I had not anticipated or prepared for. Holy crap. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to keep on trying. I'm going to keep pushing through. Uh, if I do run out of resources, then I will just try to warp out with Cecilia. But, while I might be concerned, I am not defeated yet. That's a potion berry. Okay. I just realized I should not have left that room until I confirmed that everybody was in the right spot to actually allow progress. Okay. Uh, how about you? It doesn't look like anyone else is actually encountering a character tool specific obstacle yet. Uh, are you weak against lightning? You absorb water, are you weak to lightning? Of course not. Okay. So, really, I should just stick with the holy pokes. You are no match for my balls, sir! 
That is so much damage. Okay, this is new. Behind the doors lies the benevolent stone giant, deep inside the ground. The stone giant waits for the blue heart. The Golden Beast holds the Song of the Blue Heart. The blue doors will open when the three lights merge. Okay. Yes, I do want to save my journey, thank you. This is uh, an objectively difficult dungeon. There's no item I have that just restores at these, uh... Yeah, no, there isn't. Crap. Wait, I'm sorry, what did that say for the sake? Consume one less MP on a fast draw? Can I permanently make them cheaper? Oh, that's awesome! That's absolutely awesome! But there's also the guy in Edelhide who wants one to uh, teach me a new skill. What the hell are you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to poke you with my balls. Go, Cecilia! Use your balls! Thank you, Cecilia. As always, your balls are greatly appreciated. All right, you are the first to pass your door. Ugh, this is gonna be annoying. This is gonna just gonna be multiple floors of step on a switch and then reach the door, isn't it? But with stronger enemies than in the first part of the pillar. That's annoying. That is very annoying. Still, it's experience in Jello. Maybe I'll gain another level on my characters. Okay. Alright, the first one has reached the end. Uh, let's end up Rudy now. Ah, oh, damn it. Rudy, can you please flip the switch? Alright, who do we got? No! We got no. I am not having Rudy fight against that. Rudy will die. I still got some more of these apples, don't I? Let's just dump all of them on Rudy right now. Okay. Please be something more manageable. Alright. How much damage do you take from my lasers? That is not a lot. And you hurt a, quite a bit. Okay, let's do the lock-on. Let's do the lasers again. Oh, crap. They attack first. Um, Ru Rudy's in danger of dying. Oh, thank God, Rudy. Oh, thank you so much, sir. I am so grateful for your continued survival. Uh, Potion Berry. Whew. 
I'm getting very close now. Can we get away from that? Yes, we can. Okay. Good. And boom. Probably gonna have a monster fight before I make it through. Nope, I made it. And we have reached the second of the three blue lights. No. No. Rudy's not going to be the first one to take on two fiends alone. That's absurd. Nope, that, that was the down path. I want to go up. Come on, Jack. Up you go. Up the pillar. Alright, what do we got? I'm out! Jack can fail to run away all he wants. I'm just going to try again. Because this is four enemies. This is a hard fight. And I don't want to do it alone. Screw that. Oh my god. Okay. Uh... I may genuinely have no option but to fight. And if I'm going to fight, I have to use another heal berry. Oh, don't you dare all get to attack first. Thank you. Must you... Must you really... What's Sonic Vision do? Focus, strength, and attack? Alright, well, let's see how you like... My... Uh, my that. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? The hell with you. All he had to do was let me run away, and I would not have murdered you. But you didn't, and now I've had to murder you. Uh, antidote. There we go. Okay, either way leads to the switch. There's the switch. Oh god, what now? Preemptive strike. Then I'm leaving. Thank you. Whew, yikes. Uh what? Oh, right. Pom pom. Gotcha. Yeah, I, 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 I know what's up. I got this. I got this under control. Uh, Meteor Dive. Let's just get rid of these things. That's one enemy down. Ow. Okay, that's enough damage that a single Psycho Crack should finish you off. Now I have to be careful, because I just suffered pain amplification. It's so nice of all the monsters of this world to use the names that I came up with for spells, mostly as jokes. You know, I, 
I, th I think it's really nice of them, you know, to, to play along with that. It really shows that they're team players, I think. And, you know, honestly, I, I really respect that. Okay. Ooh, boy. There was a serious escalation in difficulty as soon as I got here. Ooh. And the last of the lights. Blue doors open. What strange power... What strange powers brought us here? Okay. Cecilia, heal us up, heal us up, heal us up. Uh, you can get another magic carrot. You can get two magic carrots. Whoa! You hear that music? Something tells me I'm in the mood for a boss. The shrine belongs to me and no one else. May a swift death come their way. I mean, okay. Whoa! Ooh. Alright, we're up against a powerful Kitsune. Fair enough. Let's go for the gun. Jack, you are on Meteor Dive. Cecilia... Holy poke! Ah, it appears to have Boomble. Ah, it appears to have a Boomble that really hurts! That sucks. Oh, and it's immune to my Holy poke. Well, there goes my strongest attack. Um... Can we bring down your defense? Oh crap, it has Holy Poke! Oh god! That is really bad! I do not have a reliable way to counter something with a random damage output. Um. Oh, that sucks. Uh, Rudy, I'm gonna need you to get tilted here. Oh, come on! Yeah, that could be enough to kill me. Because I legitimately don't have a way to counter that kind of damage output. If he uses Holy Poke one more time, I die. Okay. We need Cecilia alive in order to use a Mystic Potion Berry. Okay! So... That is some serious bullshit that just happened. That is some seriously serious bullshit that just happened. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to climb the tower again. And I will see you all on the next one. Not now!